Hi, Angie. How are you? Hi. Hey, fine. How are you? Good. And where are you guys? Oh, I hear an accent. Where are you from? <laughs> Odom, Georgia. Oh, perfect. And who's this next to you? This is my oldest daughter, Nikki. Nikki, it's great to have you here. Thank you. So right away, there's a couple different souls that, are connect that I'm connecting with on the other side. So first of all, your mom departed? No. Um, hold on, don't say a word. This is your mother-in-law, correct? Yes. Yes. She's here. Sorry, I missed that. She kept saying mother-in-law, mother-in-law. I know that she's stepping forward on the other side. And wait, your husband also passed? Yes. They're here together. <laughs> this is how it works as a is that sometimes I don't know why different souls are coming through the way they are. And I, and she kept saying to me, I'm the mother, I'm the mother. And I went over to you. And then when you're like, no, she's like, no, I'm the mother-in-law. I have her husband. I have her husband. She's like, she's like, she needs to talk to me. So you know that they're both stepping forward together on the other side. Because first of all, your husband's going like this. He goes, Matt, he goes, I'm, I, I've never done this before. He goes, I don't know what to do right now. He goes, I wasn't a good talker here in this world. Do you understand that? He was very quiet, very quiet man. But his mother's here because she loved you and she's pushing him through to speak. Like, come on, are you, are you kidding me right now? You're not going to talk to your wife? Come on, you need to come through. She needs you. I just need to know he's okay. He's here. And if he's here, he's okay. And he's telling me this right now. He says, Matt, he goes, I'm so glad I'm here right now because my wife was saying there's no way he's coming through. He's not going to come through today. He's not going to step forward. And that you did not believe that he would ever step forward because one, he didn't believe in mediums. And two, because of the fact that he did not like to speak here in this world. Do you understand that? Yes, yes. But I just saw him lean over and kiss you when I'm connecting with him. He says, and the one thing that I need you to know, he says, is that I want to thank you. He says, for supporting me and loving me the way that you did. First of all, when I'm connecting with this man, this was a man who was sick before his passing here in this world. Because when I'm connecting with him, he keeps telling me, he goes, tell my wife, I should have listened. I should have listened. I should have listened. He tells me that there were so many times where you tried to get him to take better care of him, his health, to take get a better care of himself. We did home hemodialysis where I put the needles in his arm. He was on dialysis for a long time. And he says to me, listen, that if it wasn't for you, he would have passed so much earlier than he did. But he says, you never gave up on me. He tells me, Matt, he goes, you don't understand. He goes, it wasn't just about me getting better. He goes, she changed the whole lifestyle around. Because he tells me about the way that you would cook him different meals and you changed the way that you were cooking and you changed the way that you were feeding him and you had a set schedule on what you were making and what you were doing. He goes, Matt, he goes, I felt like I was back in school. You know when they give you the menus when you're in school? He's like, and they tell you, you're going to have this on Monday, this on Tuesday, this on Thursday. He goes, that's how it was at our house. Do you understand that? Yes, yes. And I also know that you sleep with things of his as well because he tells me that he's in the bed with you and that nobody knows that. He says, because Matt, if you come do it through and validate that, he goes, she will know that it's me. And he also tells me that there's still, there's still clothes of his that you have in your closet that you haven't been able to let go of and that you haven't been able to get rid of. Yes. Says, and the one thing that I need you to know, he says, please let my wife know. He goes, that she can keep that as long as she wants. She says, and more importantly, you need to tell her, Matt, he says to stop putting so much pressure on herself because your mind has been playing tricks on you. And you've been saying, I don't know if I want to move. I don't know if I want to stay. I don't know if I want to go different places. He says, and you're, you're, he's, when did that even come up? When did we even talk about that? He's going like this. <laughs> and your husband's apologizing for me, by the way, because he get, he's getting excited on the other side. And he goes, Matt, he goes, I'm not yelling. He goes, I'm not mad. He goes, this is just how I was. When I get excited over things, he goes, I would kind of raise my voice a little bit. He goes, but, I was, but I'm not mad. Do you understand that? Yes, that's, that's him. That's him. He's going to me, he's going, I'm not, he's like, you're a good guy. I'm not yelling at you. I'm not yelling at you. He goes, but she's going to know. He goes, I got to talk to her like this because that's how I was when I was here. Yes. <laughs> Your husband like didn't believe in all this health stuff. He let you take care of the health stuff. And I see him saying like, oh, that's bullshit. Oh, I don't want to do that. Oh, blah, blah, blah. He says, he goes, but luckily he goes, I had her. He says, because the one thing that he wants to thank you for is that you kept him so close to his family and so close to his kids. Yes. He, and every single day you say you have so many regrets and you say, oh my God, I wish you would have done this with the girls. I wish you would have done this with the kids. I wish you would have done this and that. He goes, listen, I did it all because of you. He goes, I didn't miss out on anything. <laughs> he 
he says, so don't fool yourself because sometimes grief can make us go back and it can make us think about things that, that you know, would have never happened. He says to me, you made all the right choices and decisions for me. He says, from so much early on, he says, and I want to thank you for that. <gasps> now he's also acknowledging the birthday when I'm connecting with him. His so, birthday? He's saying happy birthday, happy birthday. Whose birthday was it? My daughter's birthday is April the 22nd. Oh, that's what he's talking about. Hello, pay attention. That's your father. So if you're <laughs> birthday, so know it's his way of acknowledging that next month when you celebrate that birthday, he's going to be right with you in spirit. And he's oh. acknowledging that from the other side. And I got to tell you, your husband's a little redneck when I'm connecting with him. <laughs> when he, yes. he shows me that he used to love, love, love being out in the country when I'm connecting with him. Yes. Yes. You can remember that your loved ones in spirit, what their heaven is like is what they create. And your husband shows me him like out in the middle of like the woods. He says, let my wife know. He goes, I'm fine in heaven. He goes, I feel like I'm on the, on the best trip of my life. You understand that? Yes. Cause I mean, I told her if you, if, if I just know he's fine, I, I can relax. I, I just want to know he's fine. So your husband says to me that you need to keep that promise. Because you promised that you would be able to live your life again. He says, and that's all I want for you. Because he knows you're going to think, you're going to think this is crazy right now. You're going to freak out, but I'm going to tell you what he's telling me because he's here whispering in my ear. And he tells me that, you know, that, that he knows that you sit in his chair where he used to sit here in this world and you have conversations with him and you talk with him. You look like you just saw a ghost. <laughs> And you're saying in your head right now, I can't believe this. I can't believe this because <laughs> he's telling me. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you something. He shows me that you were sitting in his chair and you felt something go down your arm or touch your arm. And he says to me, that was me. <laughs> Nobody knows that. No, I did. I thought it would have been a, a spider or something. <laughs> you thought it was a spider? Because <laughs> when I told one of my, I was like, I, I wanted in my head, I was thinking, is that you, baby? And then I thought, no, it's just in my head because I want it so badly. That was him. He said to me, Matt, if you validate that, my wife will know that it's me. He says, I came to check up on her, to care for her. He says, and to let her know that I was fine. Because when your loved ones pass the other side, they always come back and try to reach us in any way that they can to show us that they're okay. That's his way of letting you know that he was there. That's his way of letting you know that he is with you. And that more importantly, he is on the other side and watching over you every single day. He says, so don't worry about me. He says, know that I'm okay. And that my soul is always and forever with you. Okay. He is. I wish I could come over there and kiss you, but I don't have my mask on. <laughs> <laughs> I admire you so much. And we, and I've been following you since I found you on YouTube after he passed. And I was drawn to you. And then I told my kids about you. And then, and I was just, just hoping he'd come through because I trust you so much. And thank you. You have no idea how much this means to me and my children. You are so welcome. And I'm so glad that this helped you. It did. You have no idea. Thank you. <laughs>